guys, it's Fullcast here, live direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go, let's go. All business today, we have a Bedard hunt underway. In front of me today, 2023-24 SP game used to abuse. Hopefully, it doesn't give us the blues. So this is just a preview video today. It's an eight minute preview video to wet your whistle, wet your thistle with an emphasis on the Bedard cards. And I will break the product tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. One pack binary product, really risky product, certainly at these price points. Configuration, six cards per pack, one pack per box, 18 boxes per case, so nine per half case. Base set one through 280, 100 base cards, 20 stars, 44 all-stars, 36 legends, and the 80 authentic rookies. Note that the true base cards are numbered to the jersey and the auto would be uh, one of one. So card number 98 of 98 or 97 of 97 would be that one of one. Within a box break, expect your one auto or premium mem. So not guaranteed an auto. This is really a mem product. Three mems and or tech cards and two base set and or inserts. So of course, I will get into the Bedard cards in a hot second. So stay tuned for that. So this is really a relics type product. A lot of people will complain about the fact that not everything is game used, but you have to understand a lot of these things are about surrounding events, you know, like all-star games and skills competitions and so on and meet and greets before and after all this stuff. So there is game worn content that isn't game worn, but it's just worn. So people will take the Reddit and complain about this stuff, not me. It's a legacy name that goes back to the, you know, inception of the product. So I accept it broadly. But yeah, so historically they've had ticket cards and historically they have had blast cards and stuff like that. It's very similar to last year, but this year they have banners, net cords, puck materials. I don't think they have tickets and stuff like that. And they're taken from the Stanley Cup playoffs, the NHL Global Series, the Stadium Series, All-Star Game, etc. There are game used jersey swatches, patches, and tags. The name of the game very much with this product would be the Draft Day Marks, which are rookie cards number to 35. They are hard signed on manufactured nameplates. So you try to compose the entirety of the last name of the player, like Nyes or Bedard. Yeah, but they do also have Supreme Patches number to 15 and game used patches. So they definitely have game used content within here. And beyond that, of course, they have the ink sweaters, the authentic rookies, the new grooves, the piece of history, the retro innovations, all of that stuff. They do have some new uh, things within the product, like the deep cuts, which is like a unique deep cut design. I think there's a hundred cards on that checklist. The signs, 30 cards on that checklist. Signs, they're called signed. And they're cones, I guess they're cones. I know they have targets, you know, they started that last year with the targets, they have cones, okay, cones. And they have Hall of Fame marks. I'm kind of excited about this because they signed Henri Richard and Morris Richard on the checklist. They're deceased, so I doubt they're signing those. But how cool is that to have HOF marks, so nameplates. By the way, by the way, hold the phone here. One sub checklist that I'm into is the Supreme Pads. They're numbered to 15 and they actually have pads from Billy Smith, Marc-Andre Fleury Lundquist, and Tony Esposito, who's passed. So imagine a big piece of his pad in a card. That's like a product hit from my vantage point. So, 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 I said I'd get into the Bedard cards. Let's get into the Bedard cards. Now I won't get into the percentages that much because it's a one pack product. So really it's less than a percent, often less than 0.5% to hit these particular cards. So he has his base and base parallels, right? So this would be card number 230 is the true rookie and his true, true, true rookie is numbered to 98. So there's a base version of that. And of course the auto numbered 98 of 98 is mentioned. The red is to 200 plus his age. The gold is to 100 plus his draft year. Then you have the crystals, purples, and the green 101s. 101s are green in this product, okay? Now he equally has base jersey autos and RPAs of that card number 230, number to 98, right? So look for those, look for the base jerseys, the one in 2.25. So that's about 0.6% of the time you'll hit him. He has a premium, he has base auto. The base auto is one in three, so that's about 0.4%. But on top of that, it's super short printed. So it's less than 0.4%. Uh, apparently they say there's variations. There's a purple auto, a green auto, one of one, base auto jersey, um, and a tag. There's a tag number to two. Also look for his Banner NHL draft auto. That's in his Chicago jersey, of course, number to 10. His deep cut auto is in a Team Canada jersey, number to 75. And you really wanna collect his draft day marks. People are gonna to put together his draft day marks for sure. Number to 35 times six, if my math is correct. How many letters is in his last name? Anyways, he also has new groove base jerseys, right? He has new groove autos, new groove auto jerseys. The new groove base jerseys are one in 
nine, so that would be about a 0.6% if you divide by the checklist, right? Patch version of those as well. He has a base auto of the new grooves. It's a super, super short print. One in 54 will amount to 0.1%. Then on top of that is super, super short printed. So good luck with that. Green auto is a one in one. There is a new grooves auto jersey as well, number 25. They have a tag of that number to two. Equally, equally look for his rookie sweaters, ink patches. Those will be really cool, desirable rookie cards. They're only numbered to 25, and this is where I believe they trump all of the young guns. Young guns are being mass graded right now. They'll be graded to, you know, 5,000, you know, PSA 10s. It's gonna go crazy. Just watch the population counts populate the universe. So these might be more desirable for certain collectors like myself, because they'll always be numbered to 25, right? He has a rookie sweaters, which is one in seven. So that would be amount to 0.5% if you divide by the checklist. He has a debut net cord. So this one is getting a lot of chat, a lot of chatter. It's a net cord from his debut, from his rookie debut. Very cool number to 35. The number to five is a product hit. It's a gold version of it. In fact, I believe these net cords are product hits. Regardless of how they get valued on the secondary market or if they're valued, I believe they're product hits. Also look for his banner year banner. So there's a banner year banner. It's kind of unrelated to him personally. One in eight, so that's about 0.6% for that Bedard. Now, finally, I should mention in passing, he does have base inserts. So he has the 2001 Retro Rookie crossover card. It's numbered to 499. It's, you know, a base-ish insert. He has a gold number to 22 of it. He has a 2003-4 rookie uh, retro debut base number to 499, including a blue platinum or blue platinum, a platinum blue, I guess, number to 25 and a gold number to five. He also has a deep cuts base insert card number to 250 with the red to 35. And the new grooves is interesting because the base version of it is number to 10, while the red is number to 199 and the gold is to 99. So the base is better. And I have to say in SP Game News, often the base cards are better because of the numbering. For some reason, it's just how they do it, right? The true rookies are numbered to the player. So a player who wears number eight would only have eight of the cards. So they become very, very chaste, desirable. So that's basically it, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Do sub like, hashtag, draw, and I'd be full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City.